Welcome to Skanky right. Foxes. Yeah. We're here today with Lizzie, who's going to show us how to be fresh, plastic free in the bathroom. So, Lizzie, how does it work being plastic free in your bathroom? Um, so, a lot of it involves making your own toiletries instead Ooh. of buying them in the plastic. I part. like making. I like making as well. Yeah. 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 So, for example, um, these days I make my own toothpaste. Toothpaste? <laughs> yes. How? So, it just involves uh, coconut oil and bicarbonate of soda and just mixing them together until you make a paste. And you can oh. add some drops of peppermint oil if you want a little bit of peppermint flavour. Um, but that's basically it. And I keep it in a little, um, a little glass. No, a little glass jar. You know, that a kilner jar with a little lid that has a little oh, hinge on it. Oh, like glass, right. Yeah, so I keep that in my bathroom next to my bamboo toothbrush. Aye. Oh. Instead of a plastic toothbrush. I brought that with me. That's why pandas have such good teeth. <laughs> yeah, could be. So that's my toothbrush. Whoa. Whoa, that's really, yeah. that's that looks good. Nice. Like, that's so, good. I mean, we just chew on twigs, don't we? Yeah. Well, that's probably really good for you as well. Yeah, because you're getting that abrasion to get the, the dirty bits of food off your teeth. Mm. So this is good because um, it's not made of plastic, so it hasn't used any oil in being made and it hasn't used um, any other kind of nasty chemicals or anything. And also, at the end, when I'm finished with it and I want a new one, like when the bristles get a bit more manky, yeah. then I can just put that in my compost. So it doesn't go in landfill, it goes in the compost and it gets broken down, and then I use it to put on the garden and grow vegetables. Oh, and that's so good. Wow. So yeah. Whoa. Can I ask you something? So yeah. the next door neighbour, um, their dog Terry, he sometimes goes to the vets and they check his teeth all the time and they say, oh, he needs to eat this or he needs to have this cleaned. Um, do you, I know humans go to the vets as well to get their teeth checked. What does your, what does your teeth vet say? My, te my teeth vet, I went to see my teeth vet about four or five months after I started making my own toothpaste. Yeah. And um, it, she looked at my teeth like she normally does, and she said, "You're doing a fantastic job. Keep doing whatever you're doing." So we should tell Terry. He's got terrible teeth. Has he? Terrible. He's I have found teeth. actually, like my teeth have been going, getting bigger into my gums because of like sometimes plastic scrapes them. Mm. It kind of stings our teeth. Yeah. And, um, and I like the taste of toothpaste when yeah. I've eaten just a, a, a one that's been on, in the Yeah, bin. when we chew on the packets, they taste quite nice. They're quite sweet, aren't they? Yeah, nice and like sugary. Yeah. Do you, is your one sweet or does it taste disgusting? No, it doesn't. It just tastes, um, it's not sweet. It's just kind of a little bit, I suppose you could say it tastes a little bit salty because bicarbonate of soda kind of has that similar uh sort of makeup um like they put yeah. on chips like, like they put on chips but you can if you want to like i said you can add your own um bit of peppermint oil to flavor it if you want to or you can add orange oil if you want to so you can make it a flavor that you like what about but chicken it, flavor i suppose you could chicken. if you wanted to can make chicken, oh, flavor. chicken oil yeah all right i'm up for trying that toothbrush in yeah, I'm up for trying that toothbrush and they look tasty. Good. We're going to go and get some bamboo toothbrushes now. Bye. So I'm just going to show you how to make your homemade toothpaste. So we've got in here um, just a, a small amount of coconut oil, which oh. um, yeah, lovely. Love the nice. coconut. It's already a little bit melted. Um, normally at room temperature, it's solid. So you might just need to melt it a little bit. Um, and what you need is about uh, half a cup of coconut oil to two or three tablespoons of um, bicarbonate of soda, which we've got in this one. And then you just need to stir it all up till it's all dissolved into one consistency. Whoa. Whoa, it's like magic. Yeah. And yeah. that will, when you leave that in your bathroom, that will um, actually solidify a little bit so it'll be more of a paste um, but I gather you guys want to try it out now is that yeah right? yeah we brought our yeah we've never rushed our teeth before well, we and we've got some toothbrushes from the garden so yeah, yeah. let's go for it
It's like meth, isn't it? <laughs> so that's basically it. You can, no, you right. can that's add, right. if you wanted to, you could add some drops of peppermint oil or Or what about chicken oil. stock? Chicken stock if you wanted, if that's your beef. That is definitely my beef. Yeah. And we love it, really. Yeah. yeah. We made two today. Yeah, it's feel, interesting. It's interesting. We're going to think about it if we do it daily. Yeah. Right. So you guys should definitely try it. Yeah. <laughs>